welcome to Braid. It's a new series from me, your boy. So, uh, this is going in the Patrick slash Haiku slot. This is a game that I decided I'm going to play next. What is Braid if you've never played it? If you have no idea? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. I have no idea. My understanding of this game is that it is a 2D platformer of some sort. And the reason that I'm playing this, you may be wondering, uh, is because I remember this game. I never played it when I was much younger, but this game came out in 2009 and I remember it. And it's like, this was a solo dev project. Indie games in 2009 uh, either were exceptional and groundbreaking or they just are gone, I feel. So I remember Braid. I remember it has, like, there was something in it that people really went nuts about, but I don't know what it was. And so, yeah, I wanted to do a series and play through it. I don't know how long it is. I think it's pretty short, but what I th what I want to do is I want to play through it here, and then I want to, maybe at the end, if I'm feeling it, maybe not. We'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, but I kind of want to do like a how do I feel about this game recap, like do a 10 minute video talking about it. So we'll see if I actually decide to do that. But, you know, either way, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know a whole lot else about it. I'm just gonna get to work. So it, it drops you right in, by the way. There is no actual menu. This game is, uh, I would call this game rustic. There's a, there's resume, start a new game, go to the options menu. You can look at the controls, which are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, credits. I think this is by, I think this is by Jonathan, not Jonathan Blow. Is this Jonathan Blow? Who has seen the wind? Okay, never mind. <laughs> and then you can do sound effects and music, and you can do these left stick angle. Oh, for like if your stick has a dead zone on it, I see. Okay, well anyway, I, I just kind of, I wanted to show that off because I was like, oh wow, this looks like a game that came out in 2009. Let's just get to it, shall we? I, yeah, so I'm playing this game because I remember it, and that's almost entirely it. Uh, so, someone also mentioned it in the, uh, the when I finished Haiku, someone said, hey, maybe Braid. This game is really, like, it's hand-drawn, isn't it? I think it is. Time and forgiveness. Tim is off on a search to rescue the princess. She has been snatched by a horrible and evil monster. This happened because Tim made a mistake. Not just one, he made many mistakes during the time they spent together all those years ago. Memories of the relationship have become muddled or replaced wholesale, but one remains clear. The princess turning sharply away, her braid lashing at him with contempt. That's why it's called Braid. The main character of this game is named Tim. He knows she tried to be forgiving, but who can just shrug away a guilty lie, a stab in the back? Such a mistake will change a relationship irreversibly, even if we have learned from the mistake and would never repeat it. The princess's eyes grew narrower. She became more distant. Our world, with its rules of causality, has trained us to be miserly with forgiveness. By forgiving too readily, we can be badly hurt, but if we've learned from a mistake and become better for it, shouldn't we be rewarded for the learning rather than punished for the mistake? What if our world worked differently? Suppose we could tell her, I didn't mean what I just said, and she would say, it's okay, I understand. She would not turn away, and life would really proceed as though we had never said that thing. We could remove the damage, but still be wiser for the experience. Tim and the princess lounge in the castle garden, laughing together, giving names to the colorful birds. Their mistakes are hidden from each other, tucked away between the folds of time. Safe. Alright, that's cool and all, but I feel like there was probably something else over here I wanted to see. What if I just, like, what if I just leave? Okay. Probably I will see ourselves coming back here. This little bathroom. Look at that! The fucking the light switch mechanics, man. They really nailed it. That's crazy. Hmm. Is this our house then, I guess? Right on. He's got a big old blackboard. You have a vacuum cleaner too? I feel like when I think about things that I would expect to see in a world where we're talking about rescuing, or not rescuing, but talking to a princess, and things of that nature, vacuum cleaner, not on the list, man. Three easy pieces. Alright, alright. 
you got for me. We're probably gonna do a little jumping here, a little platforming. Mm -hmm. This is your tutorial. I'm an expert at tutorials. I've played so many lately. Uh, it's called Three Easy Pieces, so I assume we're gonna be needing to gather puzzle pieces. Maybe some sort of a... Mm. I mean, you can't jump off of these, I see. Here's our first puzzle piece, and here is a... Ah. Music in this game is kind of going hard. I did do a sound test, so it should sound okay for you, my dear viewer. However, you let me know if it's not. I don't know how much of this I'm going to do. Bounce. Oh, what a great sound. Do I have to actually... I do have to bounce on this guy, it looks like, to actually get this piece, which is kind of interesting. And the cannon spawns another. I could kill millions. There will be no survivors when I'm done here. Oh, you just die. Oh, what? I, I, can, pre I can press X to rewind time? Okay, okay. I do vaguely remember people talking about this being a mechanic, the time time traveling through, where you just like, oops, I messed up, time, time to undo. Okay, pardon me. That's kind of cool, and by kind of cool, I mean, oh my god, that's really cool. I, I like that a lot. The jump feels uh, terrible, by the way. I, just, I don't want to mince words about it. This game, moving in this, is a nightmare. Oh man, it does not feel great. Do I need a key? Oh, I see. I need a key so I can, I can open that. There it is. What if I were to, and then maybe I could... Okay. Just checking if I can mess around with it in any way. Doesn't seem like it. Checking if I could, like, put the key in and then maybe the door stays open or something like that. You never know. I really have no... I have no conception of this game, which is another reason why I was kind of excited about picking it up and playing it. I have no clue what we're about to see here. We're building a little... Oh, shit. Oh my god. Wow, that is... that is something. I am... this is like... I cannot describe. I'm, I'm having to do this. I'm actually having to do it here. I'm having to press A to grab it. Oh my god, you can rotate it too? You actually have to press A to grab and then rotate the piece. That is shocking. I'm just gonna say it. It's like... The thing that's most shocking about it is it's actually not that bad. Like, unbelievably surprisingly so, it's not that bad. I cannot believe... I think we have to we come back to this later, by the way. Yeah, I cannot believe this doesn't feel terrible, though. That's unbelievable to me. Do you think we're going to get more mechanics? I think we're maybe going to get more mechanics and then come back here to finish this. That's my feeling. We come in here... We're gonna get something cool. Oh, uh, I see. So far, uh... So far, so good, I feel. Oh, do I have to kill them all? Yeah, by the way. I was like, oh, I got hit. No, nope, not quite right. I do have to kill them all, by the way. Oh, man. I mean, again, not gonna mince words about it here. Oh, it does not feel great. The time travel mechanic is cool, so I'm in. It's just, it feels so... It's like a stubby jump, and it's also floaty. It's kind of wild, right? Because, like, it's real stubby, but you also lose your momentum very fast, and you build your momentum when you're trying to move while jumping. If I jump and then move... Versus if I'm moving and jump and then stop. Uh, you don't actually move your momentum. Never mind. I'm wrong. The, we the reason it feels weird, it's always hard to even explain. I messed this up, actually. Okay, wow. It's always hard to explain why something doesn't feel quite right to me. But, yeah. Oh, you can speed it up. Oh, okay. Cool. Because what I have to do, I see now is I have to leave this one alive. This is like a bit of a puzzle. 
isn't it? Oh my god. He just fucking bounces his head on shit. The sound effects are so ridiculous. Just like boing and a crunch effect when you get hit. Absurd. I love it. I like everything about this so far. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see that face he makes. So, I could also definitely see this game having something related to... Uh, one, like, clearing the game without ever having to time travel. And... Probably... But no, I don't think you could do this without killing an enemy, right? Because you have to bounce on their heads to grab the puzzle pieces. Well, maybe you don't need the puzzle pieces, though. Leave a face? Oh, well. These guys aren't having a good time, are they? Wow, that is a terrible plan. Just gotta hop in. They are shooting the cannon, and then just jumping right into a spiked pit. Ah, this is where we have to make our leap of faith. I can, like... I can, like, time travel while holding left. Hold on, this is gonna be a little bit... Yeah, yeah. I wanna see if I could, like, time travel... Okay, so I see where I wanna land now. I don't know if I'm supposed to use time travel like that, where I'm falling and I just... Do you think you're funny? Is this... am I... is this a comedy routine? I don't know if I'm meant to use it like that, though, where I'm... Uh, just time traveling and then adjusting my fall slightly, but what I did. Piranha Plant? It sure is. Games like this in 2009, they were so wild, I feel like. That's a dinosaur. I'm sorry, but the princess is in another castle. This entire area was Mario, huh? Okay. All right, so we didn't get all of the puzzle. I think I rotate this twice. Oh, that's definitely wrong. This clip's here? No. This looks like it goes here, right? No, it can't. It cannot go there. It goes here? Yeah. Maybe like that? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't fit. Huh. Think about that. Yeah, okay. Okay, hold on a minute. Is this gonna be a gap at the bottom, I guess? Or, oh no, it rotates. Of course. You just turn it. Now it fits. That's interesting. So it's like the, it's three tall and five wide, it looks like. I'm gonna go back, but I, I, I can't tell. If I messed up in getting those ones, or... Yeah, basically I just can't tell if I messed up. I anticipate something like this. I wanna go back, we're gonna, we're gonna mess around. Uh, and we can just hop in wherever, and we hop in here. Oh, no, I got three easy pieces already. Uh, it's very easy to redo this shit, which is nice. Seems very accessible. I... I feel like probably the reason people talked about this game in the year 2009 is because the I, this time travel mechanic is probably pretty groundbreaking. It's very slick, and it also seems like something that would be really hard to do in 2009 and have it be nice and smooth like this, so I get it. It's definitely a product of its time, and this game is a little... I'll give it a little bit of flack for being extremely clunky. Okay. Like, just jumping feels very not right. And I'll probably be talking about that for the rest of time. Yeah, just checking if I can make that. I cannot. So, I feel like I do have to come back here, right? Do you feel that way as well? I feel like there's no way for me to get these pieces. Like, I just don't make this jump ever. You have to be able to double jump or something. So... 
Let's move on to level three, and then we'll, we'll do whatever happens in level three, and then I will... Pardon me. Do whatever happens in level three, and then I will return, and we will go. Can I go exit the current world? Yeah. Sick. Very cool. Seems like there's going to be some backtracking in this game, which is fine with me. No problems here. No complaints. We got a new world. All those years, Tim had left the princess behind. He had kissed her on the neck, picked up his travel bag, and walked out the door. He regrets this to a degree. Now he's journeying to find her again, to show he knows how sad it was, but also to tell her how good it was. For a long time, he thought they had been cultivating the perfect relationship. He had been fiercely protective, reversing all his mistakes so they would not touch her. Likewise, keeping a tight rein on her own mistakes, she always pleased him. But to be fully couched within the comfort of a friend is a mode of existence with severe implications. To please you perfectly, she must understand you perfectly. Thus, you cannot defy her expectations or escape her reach. Her benevolence has circumscribed you, and your life's achievements will not reach beyond the map she has drawn. Tim needed to be non-manipulable. He needed a hope of transcendence. He needed, sometimes, to be immune to the princess's caring touch. Off in the distance, Tim saw a castle where the flags flutter even when the wind has expired. And the bread in the kitchen always warm. A little bit of magic. Sure. The pit. Okay, so Buddy down in the pit has a key. I need the key to open the door. Okay. I feel like I'm about to learn something that's going to blow my mind. Uh huh? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. My mind is blown. You got me. So whatever you have in your hand stays in your hand during the time travel. That is extremely interesting. So this one's gonna be... I walk up here. I get absolutely rolled by this guy Fortnite dropping on me. And then what, I just undo time with it in my hand? How about that? Oh, and then because there's, there's a little thing going down. There's a little, there's a little stone slab there that I didn't see, of course. A stone grinding stone sound effect is pretty good. Reminds me of the effect in uh, the the Legend of Grimrock. If you ever played that one, I got an idea. No, it doesn't work. Oh, it did work, kind of. I don't know why does that work. Why does one of them? Oh, so like if it's if it's flashing green, it looks like it is not affected by time travel. Is that so? Pardon me, I missed my train. Wow, that's gonna get really... Uh, yeah, just... Oh, what? Whoa. Okay. Wow, this is extremely confusing. It is blowing my mind a little bit. I'm like, I'm rewinding time and it's rewinding my actions because of course, but like, I don't want it to, okay. Let me leave here and then go back. Cause now I have cleared the, I've cleared the queue basically. And I can just set it up and I can walk across and we don't have to break my brain anymore. Trying to figure out how to time that out correctly. That's not so hard. That is like... Okay. Important important thing to learn, I suppose, really. This game, I thought it was like a Metroidvania sort of action platformer, but this is definitely a lot more of a puzzle platformer, I feel. Oh, you cannot down... Uh, down A to just drop down there. I've been playing too much of these other video games. I want to look like this, I think. I'm assuming, yeah, that they're just going to be at the same rate. I cannot speed up time. We do have to wait here. 
Oh my god, I have a problem. No. I guess I can just kind of... Yeah. I can get these together, actually. Okay, never mind, it's sick. How cool is this, man? I get it. In, in the first 20 minutes, I have to tell you, I get it. Absolutely. I grasp what's cool about this game now. There's like a little key over there. I see. What am I doing? The fact that you never die is also really interesting. Like, this game never has a game over state. You never have a reset because you died. It just... You just keep going. Forever. Like, actually forever. Because you just... When you die, you... Just reset. You change time. Huh. Hang on. Can I time travel back up through the doorway now, you think? Well, I think that's what it is. Okay. So I'm gonna come up here. Stand here. And then walk back down. Flip the switch. And then rewind time. And I should, if I grasp this all correctly. No! Okay, here we go. Now what? Uh, really weird that it just sends me back up there, but sure, sure, sure. You don't mind, I'm gonna times eight back in time here. I'm gonna go take a look at the start of this level again, because this is stuff that I'm looking at and I'm assuming there's nothing I can do. What do you think about this? You think there's something I can do to get through that? I've been assuming pretty heavily here, no. And what could I do? I... I cannot imagine. I should, I should play around with the system, though, and not just assume I know. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I'm barking up the wrong tree here. I think they're gonna give me things to let me do that later. Can't even jump off the ladders. It's kind of wild. I do. I feel like a lot of games these days in current era, they have a very similar look to them because you know there's a lot of assets out there now, and that's a whole market and things like that. This game is extremely unique in the way that it looks and feels. Absolutely, like it is crazy how unique this is. I'm really just floored. Or should I say... Whoa, he got me! Alright. Well, I have bad news for all of you. I am... I have... I have entered into a war with the bunnies. The bunnies and I, we are, on, in no uncertain terms, at war. Do a little remix for you. Got that time. Not go up there. I suppose I'm at war. Remember, no survivors in this war. These are also definitely cats. I am. All right, you know what? The bunnies win the war. I'm not listening to this auditory torture anymore. You got me. I'm not- I'm not listening to this. I will run. Psych! I will never surrender. The war with the rabbits is unending and I will defeat them all. Not just the men. Alright, maybe- alright, 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 chill. Okay, we jump these. Okay, we don't jump that one. I'm leaving a lot of these puzzle pieces behind, but it's extremely easy to retrack ground. So I'm not all that worried about it. That rewind? 
The rewind mechanic is really wild. I will probably never stop talking about it now that I've played it. I am very blown away. Another game on my list that I'm, I would like to do a similar idea to this on. Irreversible, by the way, is what this one's called. But I... I really, really like and have played many times through Cave Storm. And I was watching those rabbits die, uh, reveling in it as well. He jumps. But I'm a huge fan of Cave Story. And I. Okay, I need to figure out where can I stand here? Not there. Oh, okay. I just have to stand here and then jump over. Wow, this is really hard to time. I think I get it here, where I'm supposed to go. It's very difficult. Is it gonna bite me? No. I need, I need to... okay. Hop over him. Hop over him. But like... yeah, that was closer. That felt like what I want. So replay? It totally is, wow. First and foremost, fuck you, buddy. I do not want to kill this man. No, no, no. Okay, I hate this. I, I hate this. I absolutely despise this. In every way. And I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Alright, I need to kill this guy. I just... Fighting, fighting the enemies in this game feels like a massive chore because of the way the jumping feels. It feels the opposite of crisp. The jump. I see. So we're gonna we're gonna use the key. We're gonna grab the key. You're gonna kill me for the one hundredth time. I can like. Huh. That one just actually stays gone. Okay, so some of some of the doors are going to stay gone. Like the middle one there, I see. So there are basically things that are unreffect unaffected by me reversing time, and those are denoted by the green uh, sparklies. I see. Oh, god. I think that this is a game that I am probably going to play in short bursts, and not for extended periods of time. But that's fine. I think that these mechanics make up for the clunkiness. I will give the game that. Undo. Hello? Can I keep, pick, pick a key back up? Uh, oh, so my key also became dead when I did that. Huh. I can unpick up puzzle pieces? Okay. That's a key. What am I missing here? What what am I missing here? Do you think that maybe by reversing there is now another key down here? No. What's uh what's wrong here? I don't know. I don't see it. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna spend much more than a first pass at most of these. Because I can come back to this shit later. I, I hate it, man. I just, I hate it. Oh god, they're farming me. Okay. You can just run under these guys. It's fine. No. 
Here's the picture I've been creating. Fuck you. I, I know I could have seen that coming, but also, fuck you. Lair? Was this a boss fight? Oh. Okay. Do I have to, like, land on the key and grab it? I do have to do that. Okay, got it. This does look a little bit like a boss fight. He's unaffected by time travel, by the way. Oh, he just keeps coming at you. Uh, just drop chandeliers on him and then come back to life, I see. Oh, that's interesting. So he keeps the damage I did to him there, but uh, the chandelier can go back up. Okay. I can also just reverse time and iframe through his attack, it seems like. Yeah, totally. As you're invulnerable during reversal. I love the effects on the- like, look at the effect when you rebuild the chandelier there. You see this? Wait, he's, he's nuts at dodging. Are you seeing this? This guy has the hops. I didn't hit him. Hey, look at the pieces come back together. Okay. And... Oh, I thought that was gonna be clean, man. Please step on up, young man. No, young man. I feel like times eight because I accidentally left one of my chandeliers broken here. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, alright, he's dead. I was gonna say first try, but like, you can't. Like first try, that's not real. The the everything is first try. You have to re refresh time. So I guess you do. I mean, I guess there's not really anything to measure it by, huh? A tingling. I think I can do anything there. The gates are closing. These levers here are, or are, I should say, temporal. Like if I. I hit this lever and then I just times it back in time. Oh, and if I do that faster, I get the I get the piece I want. I see. For now, it ends there. But if I'm faster about it, I get that piece. We will grab that piece while I'm here. No reason not to. Yeah, like that right there, man. It, it is very difficult. I feel to accurately make jumps in this game, and I think it will always be extremely difficult. I will not harp on it any farther. However, oh man. I'm gonna have to time Zay backwards. I'll hold the key, right? Hey, why don't I have the key? Why did I drop the key? Why, why did I drop the key? Does key not stay in my hands? It really, it doesn't. It, like, why? It's. I thought it was supposed to stay in my hands, though. I have to turn back time here so that I can get this thing. Cool. Let's, uh, let's try again. Drop it. Huh. It's the sound of me not making it. Oh, you know what? You have to put the key... I get it now. You have to put the key in the path of your reversal. Huh. Okay. So what? I need to go, like... I need to pick up the key while I'm going backwards? Is that right? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Hang on. 
I'm, I gotta think about this a little more. I, I think I get it, right? Because what I have to do is I have to be where the key starts at at one point while I'm rewinding. So I wanna be like, I wanna walk like here maybe? But then if I'm gonna rewind all the way, oh, this is confusing now. I did not pick up the key. This is extremely hard to grasp now, I feel. Because this enemy has the key as well. I can take it from him, but... I need to re- I need the key to be on the ground and I need to like rewind through it. So that I pick it up and move while I'm rewinding. Right? Is that right? I don't know. Because, like, I didn't have this trouble before, you know? In the previous levels, this was not an issue. Why is it an issue here? Is it because he picks it up, maybe? I don't know. Like, clearly I'm missing something about this. Why does it- why do I pick up the key and drop it in this one but not the other one? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh... I don't know. I definitely feel like I should have done two episodes for this. I didn't think World 3 was going to take so long. But I'm just going to move on and not get the puzzle piece. Oh, again, we'll come back for all of these. I'm not too worried. I'm just going to progress on through. Fuck you. I'll, I'll learn later. We'll come back and we'll do some of this stuff later. It's, it's more content for later. My shins. There's only two puzzle pieces. I saw both of them. Here we are. I don't like this dinosaur. Wow, that was very strange. Oh, uh, the princess. Princess who? She must be in another castle. Alright. So what, we got like one, two, three other worlds to do? So probably gonna be a pretty short series actually, but you know, still sick. Oh, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to spend the next episode... No, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go through all of these and then I'll backtrack when I'm at the end. I think I maybe can solve all of these. I'm not getting new mechanics, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll look around. I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.